how to create, edit and preview navigation bar in Canva. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how easy it is to make, create uh, and customize your own navigation bar of your website in Canva. So it is a very easy, very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over canva.com, then you are going to create or uh, head over your website. So if you do not have a website yet, you are going to type in website and we are going to select one of the templates that we have already. So what are we going to do is to select one. For example, I'm going to go with a free template. So let's see here. Uh, we are going to see the Canva templates. I have, I think, an idea. I'm going to click on this. Since it is a free template, click on customize. And boom, here we have it. Now, what are we going to do is to add so many pages. Not that so many, but we are going to add at least four, three or four pages. So I'm going to, uh, here we have the home, second, third, fourth page. What are we going to do is to copy and paste the uh, background. So we are going to make it like this, or you can go ahead and change some of the background. So we can distinguish right there the right uh, as you can see positions i'm going to put this color like that this like this and that one like this so we have three different colors or four now what are we going to do i'm going to delete all of this i do not need any of these so let's go ahead and let all of this like that i'm going to put it like this now what are we going to do is to set up here uh, click on the notes so we are going to select the pages click on notes and we are going to add a, some the title to the pages here we have the home page or home then we are going to select this one this one is going to be something like let's say here uh, maybe uh, um, i don't know we are going to set it as shop for example this one is going to be like that. I'm going to set up as about us. And the last one is going to be uh, contact us, for example. Now, each one of the pages has its own name. What are we going to do is to ha add uh, some heading or subheading. I'm going to see if we have some uh, already preset navigation bar. So we are going to type in navigation and see what do we have the bar. I think that we do not have completely everything, so it doesn't matter. Now we are going to add some subheadings. I'm going to delete that. So we are going to add this one. So we are going to name it home. This one is home. I'm going to try to make everything uh, the same size, for example, um, 17. So we are going to make it like this. I am going to duplicate it here four times. We have here a shop. We have here about us. Us like that. And we have finally the contact us. So what are we going to do now is to head over here and set them for a strip. I'm going to group them together like that. And what are we going to do is to add a shape just like that. And I'm going to add it here, this shape, something like that. I'm going to make it a little bit like this. And for the color of it, I honestly do not like this uh, specific background color so we are going to change it to something else maybe something like that or something better now what are we going to do is to place the menu or put it here so we are going to put up the menu or the navigation bar here now we are going to ingroup everything so that is it for this now what are we going to do is to set up the pages so here we have the shop we're going to set up here uh, clothes. For example, we are going to have here some images. I don't know. We're going to set up some free images like that. 
I'm going to add this as image number one and this is going to be image number two. So I'm going to make it nearly the same size as the picture. And here we have it. Now, what are we going to do is to uh, set up about us here. We are going to set up a text. Uh, I'm going to add a text box, copy and paste all the text for here. Just like that. Just to uh, have some, let's say here, uh, uh, background like that. And here we are going to name it, for example, I'm going to put a name about us. So we are going to index that page. And now what are we going to do is to head over here, contact us, put it like this. And now I'm going to add up here, contact form. For example, we are going to have here a contact form and see some graphics if we have some free ones. So basically I'm going to add something only to fill up the page here. So let's see here if we have some forms. I can add maybe a Google form to the specific one. So we're going to type in Google and form, for example, Google, Google forms like that. Let's go ahead and see if we have some forms. I'm going to go to forms just like that and select one of the forms. So a contact information just like that i'm going to put this one so we are going basically to get the link of this so i'm going to put it like that so we are going to click on send and we are going to get a link so i'm going to copy this link and we're going to make here select under import so i'm going back here so what are we going to do basically is to select from the apps and type in embed. We are going to see here an app. What are we going to do? Paste that link here. Add to design and wait for the result. So basically it is going to be adding the contact form that we've had generated from uh, Google Forms and vice versa. So we are going to wait for a little bit. So the link from Google or Google Forms is not supported on Canva. We have here something that we can uh, work with, which is going to be JotForm. And this is the JotForm platform. You can go ahead and create right there whatever you want from Forms. So here we have the form. I'm going to click on copy to the clipboard, put it here, add to design, and as you can see, instantly we have it so we are going to put this as that the form is a little bit long so we're going to put it like this only now what are we going to do is to ignore the fact that it is going to be a little bit bigger so we are going to leave it as it is so we can go ahead and make that page bigger as you can see and uh, cover all the necessary elements. Boom. Now we are going to see it like this. And now what are we going to do is to head over here. We are going to put another text as here. We are going to put home and put it as a title. I'm going to delete it. Looks ugly. I'm not going to lie. So what are we going to do is to link right there the uh, elements or the uh, navigation bar items. We have the home. What we're going to do is to click on here, click on the more, and then we are going to click on link. So basically you are going to get uh, these recent um, actions. But what are we going to see here? We have pages in this document. We are going to link them to this one. I have linked the home page to the home title. And for the shop, we are going to do the same. Click on link and select shop. Click on done. For about us, the same thing. Link about us. Click on OK. And finally, this one is going to be like this. So this is how we are going to create the navigation bar. So this is the creation of it.
basically you need to set up here the navigation bar and put up the menus and what are we going to do is to make uh make sure that these menus or the uh items are going to be uh, linked to their specific uh, pages now how we can go ahead and preview it or preview them we're going to click on preview and here we have as you can see the website so it will uh, right there um, load up the form if i click to the last one which is the contact us normally it will take us to this page there we have it i'm going to make it a little bit bigger if we click to the about us we're going to be here and if we are going to click on shop it will take us right there so now let's say that this or this specific area is going to be pages we can go ahead and make this we are going to group everything together like this with that with that group them and duplicate them so we are not going to lose the track of them as we put them here on the second page i have did that why because when you click on preview you're going to forget here the navigation bar at the top so if i click through the shop i will see here another navigation bar but, but if i click on the about us we are not going to see it so what i am going to do here is to head over here duplicate again the navigation bar and put it here on this one and what are we going to do is to put it also here on this one so i'm going to let you see here the preview so if i click on any of the navigation bars right there to something else for example i want to go to the home click on here it will take you here that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content do not forget to design well your navigation bar you can go ahead and unlimited number of um design for right their suggestions and whatever and here we have it i hope to see you soon on the next one